Hey, the remote job coach here with another video about ChatGPT and your job search. How to eliminate time, manual tasks, things that took you hours, if not days, to do before. It's going to take you seconds now. Let's jump into networking on LinkedIn with ChatGPT. These are some bombs. Like, if your brain doesn't explode from this, I don't know what's going to like blow up your brain. This is very interesting and it's something that I teach my clients and it's something that 0.0% of job seekers are doing. So I want you to first start by a mindset shift in how you're looking for jobs. That mindset shift is that you start with your ideal lifestyle. You start with the things that you need in your life, you want in your life from a day to day. Then you start with the job role that you want to do, the industry you want to be in, and the target companies that can provide you with that lifestyle without you having to negotiate for it. And what I mean by that is that there are a lot of people out there who just go on job boards and they just search through job boards, job boards, job boards to try to figure out where it is that they want to work based on what's open. Flip that on its head. Instead, why don't you find companies that you want to work for and then network your way into those companies even if they don't have roles? I've had plenty of clients do this and it works and if a role ever does come out that's perfect for you and you've done some of that preliminary work to get to know people at the company you're in such a better space to be able to get that job at that point or get a referral right okay so let's jump into how to use chat gpt and then these are a couple use cases that i am using with my clients right now i would love to hear other use cases so if there are things that are working for you would love to hear that but first, let's start with that concept of target companies. So pick out a few target companies that you want in your head. And what I want you to do is go over to the search bar in LinkedIn and press enter. Once you press enter, it's going to give you this new view where now we're going to click on posts. Okay. From this post view, we're now going to have a feed of different posts from people in our network. Then we're going to go to all filters. And we're going to go down to author company. And we're going to start adding companies. I'm going to add Duist. I'm going to add Time Doctor. I'm going to add Remote. These are basically all companies that hire fully remotely from around the world. Safety Wing. Yeah, you can put, I think, up to 9 or 10 in here. And then I'm going to go back up. I'm going to press latest past week. What this is going to give me is a list of people at my target companies that are active on LinkedIn. That is an amazing thing because now you can start competing in the comment sections for jobs rather than the application boards, right? You could start to find out about upcoming webinars that people are hosting and who it is that you can get connected to at those organizations. And you start to connect with people on a more personal basis and actually making real friends rather than what most people do is just sending people messages like, hey, can you get me a job at the company? So let's back up for a second. Let's say that you find a really interesting post that you want to uh, contribute to. And I've done this I've already done this because ChatGPT sometimes times out and I didn't want it to time out during the tutorial. So yeah, you could go ahead and like post on this one about the upcoming webinar. You can connect with Stefana. You can go to the actual webinar. You can like, there's so many different ways that you can do this, right? But let's just say you came across Chase Warrington's post here, which was actually five days ago. And it was about him throwing this uh, this the, um, celebration, right? They had a, a retreat in Austria where they did a bunch of different things and he's talking about the different ways in which the, the issues for planning an offsite occurred, right? I found this very interesting. I was like, okay, well, I want to comment on this, but it's a lot to digest. And then how is it that I comment that makes it a thoughtful way that it can actually connect me to Chase, who is the head of remote? It's probably a good person to know if Duist is one of your target companies, right? And Chase is a good friend of mine, so I'm hoping he's fine with me using this as an example. Okay, so here's the thought process. Again, let's take one more step back. Finding your target companies first, putting them in that filter view, and then going down until you find something relevant to comment on. Let's just pretend that this post by Chase was already in that feed. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this post and I'm going to go into ChatGPT. And I'm going to say, hey, this is a social media post from Chase. He's the head of remote at a company called Duist. And then I paste the post. 
And then I say, I'd like to comment on this post using the following form format. Now this is the key, is that a thoughtful comment, the, what I call the perfect comment formula is this, a compliment, a perspective, and an open-ended question. A compliment is genuine praise to the individual for why for why what they've posted is valuable to you. And yes, that should be an I. I don't know why it's different there. A perspective is additional original thought that you can provide that shows your expertise and experience with the situation. And then an open-ended question is a question that continues the conversation. So ideally, you're finding people that are posting content at your target companies about things that you have experience or expertise in that you can show in the comments why it is that they should connect with you. And just like a good dating strategy, if you're dating on the internet, for instance, let's say that you're you're trying to impress someone on Instagram and you want to eventually slide into the DMs, well, you don't just go into the DMs. You might want to warm it up a little bit. You like a few posts, maybe you leave a comment, maybe you just uh, respond to a story, and then all of a sudden, now you make your move in the DMs. It's kind of the same with this, right? We're trying to establish a real connection based on what they're posting, not based on the job itself. And if you articulate your expertise and your perspective in a really valid way, in a really impressive way in the comments, and then you go to the DMs and say, hey, I really love that, uh, you know, that post that you had and you explain a little bit more about what you're about. They might even offer a referral to you about a position that's open. So again, we're trying to create this dynamic where you're constantly providing value, you're showing your expertise, and this is a great way for people who don't like to create original content on LinkedIn to create what I would consider micro content. Like comments are basically original micro content. These are little things that you're adding as perspective that can become really awesome. And especially with a guy like Chase who gets a pretty good amount of engagement, like he got over 100 likes and 51 comments to repost, you can be seen in this comment section. If you look at what happens, like look at the top comment has eight likes. And also you can see this person's headline. You can see Valentina, who I also know. Um, she's awesome. But imagine if that was you. Imagine if you left such a good comment that eight plus people recognized it and it got five replies right then all of a sudden you're creating a personal brand for yourself through the con you know through the content of someone else and you're connecting with the people at that company right you're you're building proximity to that company because now someone at this company knows who you are and you don't have to immediately send that connection request what you can do is let these comments happen naturally then go to the DMs with a, a connection request add a note say that hey you know i'm really excited to to speak with you about this content that you created blah 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 so let me show you what it gave me, right? So if I go in here and I say this is what I want you to com this is how I want you to comment. Now, look at this look at this comment. Great job Chase, it's fantastic to see a leader actively thinking about inclusivity and how to ensure everyone has a fantastic experience at the retreat. I particularly appreciate those the consideration for customer facing teams, caregivers and introverts there is often overlooked but incredibly important to make sure everyone feels uh, comfortable. What uh, steps have you taken to gather feedback from attendees in the past? It's always important to listen and adapt to them. And so look at that. Like what a great com com uh, comment, excuse me. And this took a few seconds for it to develop. And now you can add a little bit more in there, right? Like I think the perspective part, maybe you add some of your own expertise, some something about maybe, maybe you've done retreats and there's something that's really valuable that you've seen people do. And then you can add that in here and just kind of uh, edit the, the comment however you need, but this is a great start, right? Let's say I comment that into Chase's uh, comment section, like that's going to be a really, really awesome comment. I'm going to show you one more thing for networking, like super hack related, right? These are, these are like hacks that no one thinks about. This one's about articles. So I'm going to go to the top and I basically asked ChatGPT to summarize some text for me in this format, hook, context, opinion, call to action. And then I explained what the hook was, it's juicy part of the text, it adds context, it adds opinion, and it creates a question for the audience to answer. Okay, straightforward, right? Then I provide an entire article. So let me back up for a second. How this works is find an article written by someone either at the company, so you can go to the company blog, or you can find someone at the company who contributes on the company blog, or you can find someone that writes their own blog that works at the company that you're trying to get connections at, and you can create an original post. Now, this one is for people who don't have that fear of you know, creating an original post on LinkedIn. What you can do is you can ask it to summarize the text for you. So here's the format. And then I ended up, the, the article was actually about how ChatGPT recom was recommended for a job interview. 
So I pasted the, the article in here, and then this is what it gave me. Hook, a recruitment team unknowingly recommended uh, ChatGPT for this. The recruitment team at consultant uh, firm Schwa gave ChatGPT a writing prompt. And then it goes all the way through uh, opinion, call to action. It gives me the entire post. So all I got to do is take out the hook context opinion. I got to give it a little bit of spacing. Uh, you can even ask it to change the tone, like make it more bombastic or now write it as a viral LinkedIn post or, you know, uh, you, you can kind of change it in all sorts of ways. Give it some spacing so then it has some spacing. So there's so many different ways that you can like change the way that it sounds and just adjust it. Or you can just take this and then adjust it yourself. And then what I would do is tag the person and tag the company, right? Because now all of a sudden you're creating another feedback loop for that person to see you, you're creating a way to network and you're creating your personal brand all at the same time. This stuff is crazy. If you do this a couple times a day, even just once a day, this is gonna change your life. It's gonna change everything that's available to you as far as opportunities. It's gonna get you closer to your target companies and you're gonna have a good time doing it because it's so much easier with ChatGPT right now. Hope this helps. Go try it out. Let me know what you think in the comments. Make sure to share, like, go check out the other videos in this playlist, and keep wondering. You're not lost.